Hey you guys, welcome back to day, is it 9 or 10? Ooh, I don't remember. I think it's day 9. Can I go check real quick? Right back. Yeah, it's day 9. Ooh, been in this house, B having my days run together so day nine and today we're going to be talking about goals um we're going to start off with a bible verse matthew 22nd verses 37 through 39 jesus replied love the lord your god with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind this is the first and greatest commandment and the second is like it. Love you love your neighbor as yourself. Um since day one of these videos, it's only been nine days, and God has really blessed my family and been showing out. Um he made sure that um, we have food and bills is paid for the month. Um, also, I just got a big, big blessing last night. Um, so incredibly grateful. A cold, old co-worker of mine because I no longer work at the job because I got hurt. Um, but she told me that God put it on her heart and her husband's heart to bless me and my family with a car. Um, don't, don't go crazy. It ain't no brand new car. But I'm grateful for what I have. It, it gets me around and it's paid off. <laughs> so I don't have to worry about no extra bill. I'm incredibly grateful. It's an upgrade from the last car I just had. So any upgrade is a blessing and I'm grateful. And for them to just go out their way to do that for me and my family, it's just... I'm at all. I'm just grateful. God always come through right on time, I tell you. Because I really do need to get back to the doctor and make sure I healed up. My pelvis healed up like it's supposed to. Um, and get these staples out my side. Um, now I can do that. So... Miss Sheila, I don't know if you watch my videos, but thank you and Butch for doing that for me and Malia. We are really grateful. And now that we have wheels, I can get back out here and start hustling again to provide for my daughter and continue to try to promote my business um, to the people out here in the great music city um yeah but goals my goals is to make more of my outfits that I wear that blue jacket that I had on yesterday I made that and they also so sweet they just so sweet they took us out to eat I guess because I've been confined to the house. So they just wanted to do something nice for us and take us out to eat as well. But I got so many compliments on my jacket. And I'm just like, I need to make more of my clothes. But right now, since I've been, my weight been fluctuating because of whatever is going on. It just has discouraged me a little from 
making stuff for myself. Um, Malia, I make stuff for her all day, but for me, it just it just seemed like nothing looks right on me right now. So I just usually just wear stuff that <laughs> that hides my body, but I do need to make me some more stuff. At least like some more little fall jacket sweater things I could wear those all day and it covers me up um, so that's one of my goals to make more of my clothes um, another goal is to um, get closer to God um, I feel like I know of him. I ain't gonna say I we just homies and I just know everything about God. But I get I I feel like we're closer than than before than when I first started this journey. Um you know it actually took me leaving Georgia to actually find God and hear God. I grew up in the church, but it just seemed like I don't know. They're every day faithfully. Not every day, but every Sunday faithfully. And it just seemed like I wasn't learning nothing. But as soon as I left the church doors and started exploring the world um Let me find what's his name is. Hey, his name is Kai. <laughs> My daughter was entertaining y'all while I was gone. His name Devon Franklin. Yeah, him. You know, I'm still working on that book. Uh, but he mentions that in the book, like you never really understand God and his power until you leave outside the church and actually get in the world, get in the midst of it and really see what God is talking about, why he say don't do certain things, why he say treat people a certain way. Like all my life I feel like I did for people, but I never got that same, I just never got the same input that I put into people back to me. So now it's like I actually really need the stuff and it's coming back and it just, it felt like all these years, the things that I was trying to do, it felt like it was going unnoticed. And I was like, I don't ask for a lot. I really don't. But it just seemed like every blue moon when I did have a request and it wasn't nothing big or serious. I couldn't find nobody to be there for me like I was being there for everybody else and doing that can make you feel it can it can harden your heart I say that and it'll make you not really want to do stuff for people no more I've been really battling with that cause um, it's just scary to keep trying to put yourself out there to help people, to try to love people and then it's like they accept the gift and then they punch you in the face you know spit on you kick you and whatever basically leave you out there to just shrivel up and die and then they want you to act like 
they never did anything to you so it is hard trying to be a good person but because I've been on this journey of trying to understand God and his ways of why he says certain things I have um, learned how to determine who you should help and who you shouldn't it's just some people you it's no helping them because they okay with their misery like they complain about it but they don't really want to take no action to solve it you you try to give them uh like solutions to solve it and they have an excuse for every little solution so they don't want they don't want to change they okay with the way they live in and people like that you just gotta love them from over there you know and pray for them and keep moving because if you allow those people to latch on to you they will bring you down and suck the life out of you and you will become the product of what hurt you that's that's what what's going around around out here everybody is a product of what hurt them instead of trying to figure out how to overcome it and not you know make somebody feel what they felt instead they're continuing the cycle of hurt um but yeah that's another thing that i want to accomplish is getting closer with god um i'm be honest i find the bible extremely boring um but wow. i know i need to read it because People, people always want to throw Bible verses at you. And if they feel like you don't know it, then you don't know God. When it's people that know that Bible back and forth. When I say know that Bible back and forth and still don't know a hint of God, it's just like, y'all just contradict yourselves and you just I don't know it's just like you trying to tell me I don't know nothing about God but you don't know nothing either because you claim to know this Bible but you pick certain things out of the Bible that you want to abide to now nah, if you gonna do it do the whole thing or don't do it at all because like God said, he don't like the little warm. He'll spit them out. They worse than the people that that just don't accept him. Like you you walk in that, that line that uh do you wanna be good or bad? He don't like that. And I feel like for a long time I walked that line. Like between good and bad, even though I never did nothing like just bad I just feel like I just walked that line and I know how it feels to have somebody walk that line with you like it's basically like a gray area I don't like gray area that's one thing about me a Taurus we don't like gray areas we like to know like is it this or is it this i don't like that in between stuff that maybe uh uh just be straightforward so i can know how to treat you accordingly but i had somebody that played with me like that just one minute made me feel like they was really into me they really love me. They really wanted to be with me. Then the next minute, they don't want to have nothing to do with me. And then 
then coming back again and just making me feel like it, and it's just whoo it's hard it's a headache and and I don't want God to feel like that cause I don't like how that feels so I don't want him to feel like that at least coming from me so I want to work on I'm going to continue to work on me to try to better me um I can't speak for nobody else but all I can do is work on me and try to tell people what I did or help them in whatever way and keep it moving. Hey, Malia. You want to say hey? Um, another thing that I want to work on, I want to... Um, work toward. Um, I tend to have a new tablet. Okay. See you later. Have a new tablet. No. Mm -hmm. I'm scared. Okay. So another thing that I want to work on is um, getting our passports. I really want to travel and see out of the United States. That would be great. Um, I love exploring. I drove 18 wheelers, got to see all over the United States. Malia was with me. Um, but she probably didn't even know notice what she was seeing because she wasn't even like one yet. Um, but yeah, I, I want to get my our passports so we can travel. I want to go see other countries. I want to know their beliefs because I feel like the only way to really know who God is is to study everybody's beliefs because they all hold some type of truth um, I think the only difference is the matter of perspective it doesn't mean their religion is wrong it just means they were standing on the opposite side behind a tree or something watching the whole thing. So what they saw kind of looked different from what I saw because I was standing, you know, closer up and had a better view of stuff. You know, that's just how I see stuff. So I, I really want to travel the world and uh, learn different cultures and their beliefs and understand why they, you know think the way they think and believe what they believe so I can determine for myself what is right and what is wrong because you never what might be wrong to me might be right to somebody else and vice versa so you never know just like people want to judge me because I, I listen to music that might have cursing in it around Malia. And it's not even that. It's, I just want to listen to it because it has curse words in it. It's just, I can't control how people talk. But I do like to listen and depict like what they're saying and try to understand why they're saying it and where they coming from that's what i be listening to i i go deeper into the music i just don't be like oh they said like a thousand cuss words in this song no i'm listening to what they're saying and what it means to me at the time um I also um, what's another goal I want to be full time in my business it seems like now is the best time to try to enforce that since I can't really do like a hard labor job I can't I can't stand up for long periods of time my my pelvis start hurt hurting <coughs> 
Plus, I still haven't got clear from the, the doctor to even go back to work. But at least I can. I was calculating. Like, I got offered a bus driver job. And when I thought about the $12 an hour, and I would only get five hours a day, I was like, that's like $60 a day. I could do $60 a day without going to somebody's job and then they taking out taxes plus they go take out extra for to pay you during the summertime since you're not gonna be working so that mean my little check probably gonna be like what like five six hundred dollars every two weeks when I can get out here and hustle for myself, promote my business, probably do like Postmates or something and make more money in a week than I would make in two weeks there. So, you know, that's just stuff I've been thinking about. I might as well, you know, just get out here, like, it, work on my communication skills, um, talking to people getting to know people, try to build a bond, a relationship. I'm telling you, this communication thing is going to be the hardest thing for me because that's like my biggest goal to accomplish because I feel like once I get that down packed, everything else is going to flow. But my communication skills is horrible, super horrible. Like, I was like a mute most of my life. Like, I really didn't really start talking to people to, like, high school. And I still really didn't talk to people. I had selective people that I talked to. So, now as an adult trying to run a business and grow out of that bad habit, it is so hard. It's like, I know people be feeling like I think I'm better or something like that, which is not the case. Cause I don't think I'm better than anybody but it's just I just don't be knowing what to say to people people be talking to me depending on the vibe that I'm I'm getting from them I might can talk to them or I might just giggle or I might say something that's super awkward and I'll be like why did I say that uh that's so stupid <laughs> But, like, I just I want to learn how to get out of that awkwardness when talking to people. No matter if I'm vibing with them or not. I, it's just some people, they just so good at communicating. I'm sorry, y'all. I broke my nose so in the accident. So sometimes it feel like I can't breathe. But it's it, like people, it's some people out here that can just communicate so well with any and everybody. It just flows and it just seems like everybody like them. And I just be like, dang, like, how do I get some of that? How do I be that person? I mean, I ain't really looking. If, if you like me, you like me. If you don't. There's nothing I can do to change that. Um, you can't make everybody happy. But at least to be respectful and be able to communicate with anybody on any type of level, if need be. I just want to learn that skill. Uh, I know that really would help me in my career and take me to the next level. So the, that communication is a big one on my list that I need to do. Um, that's like right after God. God is one, then communication. And I know the communication will help me with just doing my business full time and I ain't gotta do like no other little type of hustle. I can just be here in my house sewing different stuff and if I need to go out the house and get more fabric or something I can cause God bless us with a car ah!
I'm sorry, I'm just so excited. You not excited? Yeah. We've been confined to this house for like a month. We was getting cabin fever. I think we was going crazy. We was like, ah, when we. <laughs> Malia was like, I want to see other kids. I'm like, Malia, I can't even walk nowhere. We ain't even got no car to drive nowhere. I'm sorry, baby. Mm -hmm. We can see other people now. I don't know, take it to the park this weekend or something. Sit myself down so she can play with other kids. Well, you the one sitting in my lap and you heavy. You don't want to get off of me? No. When do they stop sitting in your lap and sleeping in your bed? She got my whole body hurting, I tell you. I feel like I need like a deep tissue massage or something. Or go to a car right there and get a massage. I had this one massage from this lady. Ooh, ooh, bomb.com. She was like the best I ever had. It was so amazing. I didn't want her to stop. I was like, how do I get another hour? <sighs> that was the greatest. I want to do it. I want to do one. What, a massage? I bet you do. You want to do everything. This girl is so expensive. Uh, my, my, you know my back Kids hurts. Are, are expensive. You know my back always hurts. Your back always feel hurt? You ain't got no back. I don't see no back. Her back don't always hurt. She you say you, you say I don't have back. Yeah, you too young to have a back. That's what older people say to younger kids when they feel like they too young to be feeling any type of pain. Okay, get off me. <sighs> her and this never. I don't know where she got that from or seen it, but every time I tell her something, she running through the house, I'm like, never! I be like, where did you get that from? <laughs> yeah, but, um... So those are some of my goals that I want to accomplish by the end of the year. It's October, so that gives me, I want to say three months, but October already started. I just say a little less than three months to really get out here and start expanding and pushing myself. Um, this exercising that I've been doing has really been helping me discipline my mind. Um, I had a shake today. Ow. And this uh, is this my last bottle of water I'm working on. So I'm about done with my 96 ounces of water for today. Mm. Oh my gosh, I waste water on myself, Amanda. And me too. <laughs> But yeah, those are my goals. What are y'all goals? And how are you going to go from just talking about it and actually implementing it into your life? Let's chat about it. You know, message me. I'll message y'all back. Y'all know I, all I do is just sit in this house. So yeah, message me. I'll message y'all back. Let's talk. Let's communicate. Let's see how we can move forward if that's really what you want to do. You fucking my mommy. What? <laughs> T-Rex. I don't know what's going on with this child. <laughs> but we love y'all. See y'all tomorrow for the next uh, episode showing. What you want to call it? Number six. No, we on number nine. So tomorrow will be number ten. You missed a couple days. You've been in the room. On your tablet and stuff. So we on day nine. But tomorrow be day ten. So we'll see y'all tomorrow. And it's going to be day eleven. Yeah. That's how the numbers go. So, uh, yeah. Come back and see us tomorrow. If you like to support you me. You always see number zero. Uh-huh. If you like to support us and our family um, so that we can keep 
doing these videos and um, other stuff, major stuff. Yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, you know, sure. That's sure. My website is www.nikiyoung.com. N i k k i y u g, and I'm going to be also start doing some videos showing me um, sewing stuff. It's not going to be like no d d y i or is it d i y? Do it yourself. D y i, yeah, d y i. That's what it is. I'm about to. I'm not going to be doing those type of videos. Not just yet. Uh, I don't feel like. Hello. I'm a good enough teacher to be trying Hello. to teach Hello. somebody else how to show. So, but I will be showing y'all the process of how I put certain garments together and stuff like that. Look. I'm about to be start working on Malia's jacket this week. So, that's going to be a video. Oh, and our time is up. See ya. Peace.